welcome back to my channel. I just do quickly really want to say, get it in here now, that we have got a lot of construction going on outside. So if you hear banging and crashing, I am really, really sorry. I've tried to shut the window. It's not making much difference, but it's lunchtime, Mr. Builders. Get on your lunch. So today I am doing a Slim and World related video. So it is all going to be about the treats that I tend to eat all the time on Slim and World. I'm going to be telling you the sim values of them. I just basically got, I've got a massive bag. Now she's a beast. Here we go. Full of crisps, sweets, chocolate, popcorn, rice cakes, all the things that I tend to use my sins on. Now with Slim and World, you can have five to 15 sins a day and it's completely up to you what you spend them on. So you could spend them on things like this, you could spend them on sauces, you can spend them on cooking sachets. Sometimes a lot of cooking sachets have sins in them. You can spend them on alcohol, whatever you wanna spend them on. They are there to be used and utilized to whatever you fancy. But this video is gonna be based on chocolates, crisps and sweets. So if you are interested in what Watching, then it's literally just gonna be me picking up the items, showing you the packaging, telling you the sim value, maybe telling you what I eat it with or why I eat it. But it's just gonna be like a duh, 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 duh kind of thing where I show you each each tree. It's just gonna be me showing you, telling you the sim value, and hopefully you gain something out of this. Hopefully there's some things in here that you thought, oh, I didn't realize they were low in sin. So yeah, if you're interested in watching, please, Mr. Builder, keep it down. I will give you some treats if you're quiet for this video. But yeah, let's just let's just get through this. Let's get on with it. So I hope you enjoy, and please don't forget to smash thumbs up if you like my content. Um, it really does mean a lot to me, and it means that I know that you guys are interested and all of this is worthwhile and, and all that good stuff. So let's get on with it. So the first thing, oh, these are amazing. Let me just get all of the flavors out of these ones. Okay, so the first thing are these. Now, I am sure if you are a Slimmer World member, you know about these. They are the Skinny Whip Bars. They are four and a half since each, and they do so many different flavors, but my favorite one at the moment, the Mint and Dark Chocolate, because it is. It's like a big, chunky after eight. They're a decent size. Um, Yeah, so this is what the packaging looks like. They are 97 calories for this one, so four and a half sins. And they are a decent size. This is what the packaging inside looks like. And like I was saying, they're like a big chunky after eight. They're like quite um, girthy, is that the right word? They're quite thick, so they do take a while to eat. You know with some chocolate, it's gone in seconds and you're thinking, oh my God, did I even eat that? These are actually, they've got some substance to them. I think that's the one I'm looking for. They've got substance to them. Um, so they are amazing. And to be honest, I probably have one of these every single night. So that's a mint and the dark chocolate dark chocolate flavor they also do a strawberry and chocolate flavor again four and a half sins they then do a toffee and chocolate flavor four and a half sins again and then lastly if you're a chocolate lover a chocoholic then they do double chocolate flavor as well now, you can pick these up in many places. Um, I tend to get mine from their website just because it's much easier because sometimes if you go to the likes of B&M who stock them, Home Bargains, Iceland I think stock them as well, and maybe Poundland, you won't find all of the flavours, you might just find the chocolate or the toffee. So to get your hands on the mint one, i found that the best place to get them is from their website direct. Um, they do sell them in like i think you have to buy 20 boxes i'm not actually sure just have a little look on their website i know they do deliver as well and you get five in a pack and they're 99p so if you were to buy from their website i think you can buy them in bulk it might work out a bit cheaper but the best place to get them to know that you're definitely going to get them to save you going to be in them is um their website so i'll leave their website down below but yeah they are an absolute must on slimmer world also i've heard that people freeze them as well and then take them out a bit before they want to eat them just i don't know i haven't tried that yet but yeah these are unreal for four and a half cents next up we've got some popcorn um popcorn has been a like since the very beginning of my slimmer world journey to like now and going forward it's just been an absolute must so this is the proper corn sweet and salty now you have to be careful with um what gram bag you've got so check the sin values so i always tend to pick up the 14 gram bags of this one um, and it's 63 calories so that works out three sins a bag and i only get these when they're on offer because they are quite well 
not super expensive, but I always pick up and stock up when they're on offer. So these are on offer in Tesco this week for a pound. So they're three cents each, which is literally nothing. So on an evening, when you're watching a movie, you're watching your Netflix, watching your episode, or if you're going to the cinema, car journeys, things like that, snack for work, I always have these um, in my bag. I always have them in the in the house just if I want a little snack. So even if you wanted like two bags, that's only six cents, which is obviously really low. So these are amazing on Slim and World. And then to partner with the sweet and salted, they also do just do just do a lightly sea salted, and this is only two cents. Two cents a bag. It is a 10 gram bag one. Now you can get proper coin in bigger bags, but I just tend to get these sizes because they're so low and there's enough in there to like like satisfy me. I don't feel as though I need the big bag. So these are two cents and um, 44 calories for the 10 gram bag. And again, these were on offer as well. All of the supermarkets sell these, but I just Always buy them one off first, they were one pound. So yeah, two sins a bag. And with this as well, let me just turn that side, I'm sorry. What I like to do with these ones is um, if you do like sweet and salty popcorn, then you can just get some candorelle or sweetener or whatever and just sprinkle it on top, give the bag a little shake. If you count your sweetener, if you count the sins of sweetener, then obviously do so accordingly. I personally don't. So I will just put a bit of sweetener on this um, and then you've literally got a bag of popcorn for two sins, which I think is amazing. Okay, rice cakes. People often ask me, what do you snack on in the day in between meals? If you've got a few sins in the evening and you're a bit hungry but you don't want to spend mad sittings, then rice cakes are your go-to. Now, I know they're not a love it. They're like kind of like a love it or hate them. Some people think, oh, I don't really see the point. But I really do feel like they satisfy my snacking when I'm feeling snacky I really feel as though they sort me out when I want some it's sweet when I just want something you know in the evening you're not really hungry but you're bored and you're thinking what can I eat and then you're thinking oh and you just don't want to like binge or whatever then these are amazing so these are the Morrisons this is the first one this is the salt and vinegar they are one and a half cents each and they are 29 calories if you count calories so one and a half cents each they're lovely they're really salty they're really vinegary they taste like you're having salt and vinegar crisps basically so you get one of them so i'd normally have around two or three of these um they're amazing so they're one and a half cents and then this one got clean from all over it because i had one this morning this is the sweet and salty so this very much tastes like popcorn so if you're not into salt and vinegar and you prefer sweet and salty they do do a sweet and salted version these are again same sim valley one and a half cents each and these are 35 calories so this is just what they look like i don't even know if you're going to be able to see but they're basically the morrison's own brand so they were like a pound as well so super affordable has anybody got a tip though on how to keep them fresh because I could put them in Tupperware, but I haven't got much Tupperware, so I don't want to use my Tupperware. Um, I've just been putting clean foam on top, but if anyone's got any sort of storage hacks for these, then please do let me know. That'd be great because I really struggle. Okay, so these are a sin tree and they are also classed as a healthy extra b which is obviously your fiber allowance and they are by the same brand as the skinny whip bars, which I showed you originally. Now these are the skinny crunch chocolate orange sort of not breakfast bar, they're basically like a chocolate orange bar. They're now very, very, very similar to the Slimmer World orange hi-fi bars, um, just a fraction of the price. These are available in B&M and also on their website as well. They are three cents each, or you can have two for your Healthy Extra B. I love spending my Healthy Extra B on this. I mix these in, I break them up, I mix them in with a quark and a hot chocolate orange sachet, and I mix them in when I've got my Healthy Extra B left, or when I've got some sins left, because they are only three cents each they are 74 calories and they are lush they really are nice yes they are a hex b but i do sin them as well because i really do find them chocolatey orangey they're very much like a terry chocolate orange obviously they're not a terry chocolate orange but they've got the taste of that so if you're feeling like you really want terry chocolate orange then maybe pick some of these up they're around a pound too so super affordable and you get five in a pack rainbow drops <laughs> these are like remind me of my childhood they really really do but Again, like some people really don't like them, some people do. They, I really like them, I find them sweet, I find them satisfying on an evening. So they're the Swizzle Rainbow Drops. Now they do do different size bags, so again, please be cautious and check it out with what, which ones you're eating. These are the 32 gram bags, so these are the heftier bags, the bigger bags. They do do a smaller bag. So yeah, they do do a smaller bag. Um, so the 32 gram bag is five and a half cents. This is what the packaging looks like. So they come in bags of four. I got this in Poundland, I believe. 
Yeah, so the 32 gram bag is five and a half sins. And then they do do a little baby one, 10 gram bag, which is two sins. So yeah, really, really nice. Basically what they are, if you don't know, they're like a, this is what they say, a sugar coated puff maize and rice. So I don't know, they're just sweet and they're nice to snack on on an evening. If you want something to do and you really just feel like you want something to put in your mouth, then these are amazing. Always available in supermarkets, home bargains being them anywhere basically, Poundland or whatever, but I always have them in the cupboard because they're my go-to. This one isn't spoken about uh, too much on Slimmer World with Slimmer World people. Um, it is really, really nice. I think the reason why it's not spoken about too much is because getting your hands on it, I feel like you can only buy it from their website or garden centres, I believe. Um, but I was at a flower show, I think it was last year, I better check the date. Um, check the date. Last year I was at like a garden and flower show and they had a stand there and I had known from Instagram and things like that that these are quite low and thin. So this is the flower and white lemon meringue bar. And this is five sins. So it's under 100 calories, so it's only five sins. And it's just different. It's just different if you're not wanting chocolate, you're not wanting sweets, but you're wanting some fruity, citrusy. This is really nice. It's quite light. It is super sweet. So if you like sweet things, then this is going to be for you. Basically, it's a meringue bar coated in Belgian white chocolate and a lemon crunch. So if that sounds something like you'd like, because I definitely do, they very much remind me of the old Slimmer World lemon meringue bars, which were amazing. They were my favourites. Please, someone will bring them back. They were lush. Um, they're very much like that. Good size. You can also break it up and put it in like um, a trifle if you want like a lemon trifle. There's so many things you can do with this. They also do do other flavours. I know they do a salted caramel one, which I think is only three and a half sins. I haven't yet to try that, so I can't give you my opinion. Um, but these are amazing. So the company is Flower and White. I'll just leave the link down below. Um, you can buy from their website, I believe. I'm not really sure too much about where you can get this from. Like I said, I got it from a flower show. I haven't repurchased it because I've I bought quite a lot from the flower show. So this is my last bar. So I might look into getting some more of these, but a nice mix up if you don't want chocolate. Marshmallows. Marshmallows, if you don't know, are quite low in calories. So they're really good for if you're watching your weight and you want something sweet. So these are my favorite because portion control. Say if I had a big bag of mini marshmallows, I couldn't stop. That's just me. That's one of my weaknesses. I'm sure many of you are the same. But with these little mini bags, once you've eaten them, that's it. It's done. So these are the Bocca mini marshmallows. This is what they look like. So they come in little sachets, little terra bags like this. You buy them from their website. Again, I will leave their website down below. Um, these are two sins. So you do get quite a lot. I mean, I haven't counted how many you get, but they're only 36 calories. And if you like a hot chocolate on an evening, um, you could always pop these on the top. Um, or if you just like snacking on them, like I do, I will literally just have these with yogurt in an evening, not together, but that would be my sort of sweet fix. Only two sins, they're really, really good. Um, Sugar free, fat free, gluten free and dairy free as well. Um, vanilla flavours, yeah not much not much to say about them but yeah I just find them amazing. And then sticking with marshmallows, um, I <laughs> before I obviously lost weight and I was watching my weight and stuff, you know they're like three for one pound sweets in Tesco and Asda and everywhere they do them now, the little sweet packets. I would love, I love them, like I love them and there's two yeah there's two packs in there which my absolute favorite and i didn't actually realize that you can have them on Slimmer World, obviously in moderation. So sticking with marshmallows, the Tesco pack, this one, this is the Tesco marshmallows, soft and springy. This whole bag is only eight and a half sins. So I think that's quite good. Like a whole bag of something is only eight and a half sins. So you can have this within your daily allowance. If you love a marshmallow, these are brilliant. This is the 50 gram bag. Or if you just wanted half, then obviously it'd be around four sins, which I think is quite good. Now you do get a good amount in there. So if you are a really sweet person, and you love your sweet things, and you save your sins up for an evening and that's what you do then these might be might be good i mean people always avoid them because you think oh god they're gonna be ridiculous but for half of the bag it's only 83 calories um so yeah amazing so see they're within the three for one pound and then the other ones which are the best where are you fizzy watermelon flavor slices these Hello, darling. They are lush. OMG gorgeous. So, 
12 sins for the whole bag. Now, some people might think, oh no, I'm not spending 12 sins. Fine, just have half the bag, six sins. Like, I think it's so good for the sweetness, the sourness, the sugarness that you get from these. They're amazing, six sins, half it, whatever. If you've like realized on an evening that you've had no sins today, have a whole pack of these, like, do you know what I mean? So they are lush. So this is a 75 gram bag, 12 cents is a whole bag, or you can have 25 grams for four cents, you can have half a bag, do whatever you want, but they are really, really nice. And if you're like a pick and mix lover, you can make it work within your sins. So you can, for example, stock up on all like your sour sweets, your sour favorites, check the app, and you could make little pick and, pick, pick and mix bags if you want. Um, yeah, I just love these, these are lush. Um, and yeah, obviously really affordable, but they're just totally tangy, is what they say, totally tangy. And they really are, they just give you that, yes, this is lush, this is nice, this is worth 12 cents, or this is worth half, uh, six cents for half the bag. Yeah, this might surprise you. Again, love it or hate it, sherbet fountain. So it's basically the sherbet with the licorice stick in the middle. This is only four and a half cents. <laughs> I was really surprised with that. Like, I, I love it. It's like four and a half cents. Like I said previously, if you wanted to do like a little pick and mix bag or a little treat plate, which was like full of sugar and sweets, and you could include this in it. It's, I don't know if there's any different sizes of these, but this is a 25 gram little tube thing. Four and a half cents for it. So if you're bored again on an evening and you want something, then you've got your sherbet fountain. So four and a half cents, I think that's really, really good. Okay, so I've loved these now for quite a while, but I've grown to love them even more. And now Slimmer and World, we can have two healthy extra A's. So if you don't know, the Slimmer and World plan change. And originally you could only have one healthy extra A, which is basically your dairy, but now you can have two. Um, and sometimes I struggle with trying to have two. Sometimes I don't have two. That's just my personal preference. But sometimes I think, yes, I can have, I've got another, I don't know, 250 mils of milk, what can I have it on? So these have been a save year. So they are basically the milk sort of straws that have the flavoring in them. So here's a chocolate one and here is a strawberry one. They are one cent each and then I also found some chocolate banana ones. Now I love like banana smooth, uh, banana milkshake. So um, yeah, I picked all these up in B&M but they do sell them in Home Bargains as well and you can sometimes get your hands on them in uh, in Poundland. Um, one cent each, basically you just get your milk, whatever milk you have left for the day, put some ice in it, that's what I tend to do, um, crushed ice and then put your straw in and then obviously drink through it and you get the flavors from the little bees. Um, so yeah, even if you want to spend some sins on milk and you've had both healthy XJs, then these are really nice sort of treat on an even, something different. It's a drink you're spending your sins on rather than like snacks. So yeah, these are really, really nice. My favorite is the strawberry, um, but I'm yet to try this banana one. So I will let you know what I think, but even kids love these as well. So super good, super duper duper lovely. Are you ready for this? Do, 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 do. Chew it. Chew it, chew it, chew it. Had to be in this video. They just had to. I always rave about them on my Instagram, how they're so good. Five and a half sins for the whole tub, for the whole tube. Loads of different flavors available. I finally got my hands on the cola flavor. So you know what chew it's are. I don't really need to show you, but cola flavor, fruit salad flavor, good old original strawberry flavor. And this stuff's like gold dust, the black currant flavor. Also, ice cream flavor. So yeah, five and a half cents for the whole tub. I think it's amazing. Again, put it in your pick and mix bag, do whatever you want with it, but really, really satisfying. Have it in the car, have it in your handbag when you're feeling vulnerable, you feel like you want something sweet. These are amazing. Get them in, you can get them everywhere. Chew it, five and a half cents, unreal. They also do do a sour chew it. <laughs> so a sour apple chew it. This whole little pack is six sins. So a tiny bit more, like half a sin more than the other one. I think it works out one, two, three, four, five, six. One sin is sweet and they are really sour. They are really like, so if you're into sour sweets then these are a must. I got mine from Tesco and they are six sins for the whole thing. Again, if you just want one, if you want half the pack, do whatever you want. But just so you know, sin value, six sins for all of those. Milky bars, so white chocolate, if you like white chocolate, then these are amazing. These are the 12 gram bars and they are three and a half cents each. They are 65 calories. 
These are also really good in like porridges. Like you know when sometimes people melt chocolate in with their porridge. So this would be really nice with porridge and raspberries. So you've got a bit of white chocolate, raspberries and the porridge. That's what I tend to use these on. Or I just use them in the evening because they are only three and a half thin. So yeah, absolutely amazing value. Normally one pound and you get six in a bag. And again, individually wrapped so you're not going to feel as though you're going to eat the whole bar. Um, yeah. Okay, let's talk about these. But I need to put a disclaimer out there. You probably all know. But please... Ladies and gents, boys and girls, do not eat the whole bag and do not eat the whole box because you will have a runny bum. You will have a runny tummy, you'll have a poorly belly because they're sugar free. I think they've got like, again, I should know what they've got in them that makes it cause that you have a bad belly. Um, but yeah, if you eat all of these, you will have a bad belly. So please don't eat them in moderation. They are the Aldi, I think Aldi, or, yeah, Aldi sugar-free little boiled sweets. You normally see them on the tills, you know, as you're paying, you're putting your stuff in your conveyor belt, you normally see them there. I love these, but again, I have to be very careful because my belly does react to eating a lot of them. So I try to only pick up them and then, you know, be cautious. So these are the rhubarb and custard flavour. And they are half a sin each. So, so low. If you want to, you know, some people really do just miss, like, boiled sweets. And these are amazing. But, yeah, please just don't eat all of them. But, yeah, I wanted to share because they're nice to have in the car when you want some it to suck on. If you're stuck in traffic or whatever it may be. Oldie but goldie. Had to include it. Couldn't not. Um, I feel like when you're a new member in Slimmy World, I feel like your consultant will always tell you about the curly whirlies. Because they're so low in sin, you get quite a lot for your sin value. Six sins for the whole bar. Top tip, put them in the freezer. Mm. Mm -mm. you can also chop them up so get yourself a little bowl break them up and then it just feels like it goes a little bit further but six sins for this is an absolute must so if you are a new simmer worlder or you're struggling with your sins pack up pick up a pack of these because they are a godsend Malwan bars, kitty little things but sweet will satisfy you so this little Malwan giant stripe is three sins for 15 grams then you've got the drumstick version bubblegum flavour this is three and a half sins for 18 gram bar then you've got the refreshers version the original lemon flavour this is three and a half sins for 18 gram bar original flavour this is a bit higher in sin it's four and a half sins but it's because it's a 25 gram bar but again really nice if you're a sweet lover Sticking with sort of sweets and little bars. This, I know, I never know how to pronounce it. Nougat, I think it's called. This chewy nougat bar um, is only six and a half sins. And the reason that I like this is because it does take a while to eat. So you can break it off. It takes a while to chew. So it's quite, again, I will keep wanting to say like it's got substance to it. It's got something to it. So it's going to last you a while and you're going to really sit there and think, God, that was worth six and a half cents. So if you like nougat, then you'll love this. It's raspberry and vanilla flavour. Um, and just make sure you pick up the 35 gram bar for six and a half cents. I do believe there is a smaller version of this, which is lower in sin. So if you want to pick that up, then do so. But I think six and a half cents for this is definitely worth it. And then Barrett, so the same brand that does um, majority of those little bar, uh, the little... Um, Choose and the nougat this is a flump you all know what flumps are i should have done it with the other marshmallows um but a long flump again i always have them in i always have them in again with these i do different sizes to so just be make sure make sure on your sin value but for the 20 gram little bar it's three and a half sins Oh my god, these just remind me of like when you go, I think it's like to hotels and you get a cup of tea or a coffee and they give you a little lotus biscuit. These are a lover of many Slim and World members. Um, they are two sins for a biscuit. Really nice flavour, really nice taste. People often use these to do cooking. People put them on top of a cork, a cheesecake, bacon, whatever you want to do with them. They're two sins a biscuit. They do come in individual packs again, which is really, really good. A pack or two, so that'd be four sins. Um, so yeah, these are always really, really nice to have in. And then if anybody to come around your house that isn't on Slimming World then they might like some of these as well. Now this isn't like a food but it's a sin value that I feel like I'm always writing in my planner because I'm having like on a daily basis with my quark. If you haven't seen my latest what I eat in a day on Slimming World SP version then I use this to make a dessert. This is one and a half sins and this is the Options Belgian Hot Chocolate Mint. 
36 calories. These are amazing to have just like as a drink and with those marshmallows on top or if you want to incorporate it into like a dessert, like a yogurt thing, then these are absolutely amazing to have. With the weather getting a bit nicer um, in England, Wales, um, you, I have been picking up some sort of ice pop, ice pops, ice lollies. I love these. I always have every summer. I feel like I'm, I get so excited when I see a new ice pop. Now these are amazing. They are so nice. They are only half a cent each. I got mine from B and M, and they are the slush puppy ice pops. So you know, as a kid, you'd get your slush puppy. Well, not as a kid. Now I probably still would. You'd get your slush puppies. Well, basically, it's a version of that, but in the ice pop. So they have a lemon and lime, a blue raspberry, a strawberry and a cola, and they are literally 11 calories each. So you could have quite a few of these um, and be so low, be so within sins. They're just lush, literally they were like 89p, pop them in the freezer and then you've got something for an evening. If you're feeling like you want a bit of a refreshment, if you're feeling like you want something sweet, then I always pick these up. We also have some of the swizzle refreshers ones. Now I pick these up in Iceland. They are a bit more, uh, there's a bit more to these because they have two sections and they're just a bit more thicker. They are once in each, they're 23 calories and you get raspberry flavor, strawberry flavor, pineapple flavor and lemon and apple and they are lovely. We're nearly there guys, I promise. I'm gonna move on to sort of some crisps now I think. Okay, so again, these remind me of childhood. I feel like I'm just bringing up my childhood again. But Space Raiders, they are really low and thin if you like crisp, if you like pickled onion. These remind me of Monster Munch pickled onion. They are my favourite crisp of all time. So having these as a sort of replica of them for only three sins is amazing. So three sins for the 11.8 gram bag. Then the pop chips, the corn chips, sour cream and onion. They are only three and a half sins for a 17 gram bag. And they also do do a barbecue flavor, which is really nice, which is the same value, so three and a half cents as well. Just make sure you get in the corn chips, because I know that the original pop chips, they're higher in sin, but the corn chips are less calories. Then I'm sure you know about these, but these are the Hula Huff Puffs. Make sure you get the puff version. They are three and a half cents. They do many flavors. They do the beef flavor, which is what we've got here. They do a sweet chili flavor. They do a salt and vinegar, and they do a ready salted as well. Three and a half cents. They are really, really nice and also always on offer, 72 calories, so amazing to have if you're having like a sandwich and you fancy a packet of crisps, then these are great to have on the side as well. I feel like these are my favourite crisps of all time, just because of how salty and vinegary they are. I'm a very salt and vinegar kind of girl and these are the Golden Wonder Ringos. They are only three cents for the 12 and a half gram bag. And they do a cheese and onion, I believe, um, but I always pick up the salt and vinegar just because they are so tangy and they're like, they're so nice. You do get a decent amount, um, three cents. Then these are a Home Bargains love of mine. I think Home Bargains and B&M are the only place that sell these. It might just be Home Bargains, so I'm sorry if I'm wrong. But they're the Velvet Crunch Thai Sweet Chili Bites. And they are absolutely lush. They are four cents. If you haven't tried these or you avoid picking them up in the shop, please pick them up. They are so nice. You get decent amount. They're only 84 calories and they are lovely. We often have these on the side if we're doing like a curry night. They're just like a nice little like side plate to have. And for only four cents for them, they are an absolute must if you like Thai sweet chili kind of things. Now I know there are so many crisps and obviously I'm only mentioning a few because it's what I've got in the house now. I mean I didn't want to go out and buy hundreds and thousands of packets of crisps. Um, but there are loads and I know that you guys probably have your favourites but I just wanted to share some of my favourite favourites with you guys. And the last one I've got are the Itsu Prawn Cracker Salt and Vinegar. And again we have these when we're having like a Chinese night, a fake away and we have them in a little bowl. They are five sins. And you would never think to sort of like look or pick these up because, I don't know, they're just not your normal like crisp brand with it being Itsu, but they are really nice. They do do a duck, a pecan duck flavour of these as well, which are insane. We are out of those. Um, but you get these from most supermarkets. I actually got this from the Itsu shop. I stocked up loads when it was open. Um, but yeah, 98 calories. They're really, really nice and they're just perfect for a little sharing, sharing little snack when you're having a Chinese or if you do just want to have them as, as, as your sin snack. Then some minis. So these are the Fox's Party Rings minis. I love party rings. They are my guilty pleasure. I could eat a whole pack. Oh, they are just so nice. You know at the buffet and you see a party ring? 
you know it's a good buffet. So to keep within your sins and to ensure you can still have those foods that you're loving and those foods that you did love, um, you can pick up all the mini versions. So this is a 21 gram bag and they are four sins. And then Jammy Dodgers, again, I love a Jammy Dodger. So they do do mini versions as well. So you can still have all of the foods that you did love, once love, um, before joining Slim and World. It's just having smaller portions of them. And all of these things that are made, obviously maybe for kids or whatever, they are really good for us because they do really help us with portion control. And I know that is one of my massive weaknesses is knowing when to stop or knowing when to say that's enough. I can't. So having it in individual little bags is much better for me and much better for my success. So... I just wanted to share these with you. I mean, you know, some of you might have the control to be able to buy the normal packs of Jammy Dodgers and stop at the weighed amount, but for me, having it weighed and individually packed just works better. Anyway, this is a 20 gram bag and they are four and a half cents. So basically you get uh, four little mini ones and they're just nice to have with a cup of tea if you've got some sins available in the evening or for 11 Z's if you have 11 Z's like I do. I know this is a long video but I just wanted to get as much in this video to help you guys as possible. So we're on to the last sort of things now. So we'll finish off with fudge. 25.5 grams is five sins. Really, really nice. I also did see an Instagrammer. Um, oh my god, why can't I? That's going to really annoy me. Lisa, I want to say, I think her name is, and uh, she basically cut it up so small into tiny little pieces to see how many pieces she can get out of it. And when she put it on a plate, it looked like there were so many fudge pieces. So if you're a fudge lover, then I definitely recommend giving that technique a little go. Literally chopping it up into little thin slices, and then rather than eating it like that and it be gone within seconds, actually having like little pieces of it and stopping in between so it lasts a bit longer. So five, five point five sins, sorry, for twenty five point five gram fudge also you know i spoke about the um skinny crunch bars the orange ones being a healthy extra beer they also do do a peanut butter version as well um so i add a couple of these spare i don't have the packaging for them but they are 75 no 73 calories three cents each or two for your healthy extra beer so if you are a peanut butter lover then you'll like these ones then not many people know about well i haven't seen many people know see these i haven't seen a lot about these on instagram and things like that i think because i've never actually seen them in the shop i only saw these in home bargains the other day so i picked up a couple i haven't seen them in supermarkets i mean i might just be blind but these are the metcalf's Metcalf's, I don't know how to say that word, Metcalf's mini rice cakes dark chocolate orange and if you like rice cakes like me then you'll like these, if you like chocolate orange like me then you'll like these, they are four sins for the pack and they're just something different, something different to snack on, something different to have in your work cupboard, something different to have in your handbag, four sins a pack so essentially one sin for a little rice cake if you want to mix things up. I love these. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I love these. Like, you know, if when you were a kid and you'd go and get your favorite sweets, I'd always get the Malwan pinballs. So when I saw that you can still have them on Simmer World in moderation, obviously, then I thought, yeah, yeah, this needs to be in my video. So this is the Malwan pinballs. Now they are six and a half sins for the whole little... I don't know what you'd call this the whole little packet i guess 32 gram packet and they're just nice again put them in with you put them in with your pick mix do whatever you want with them but six and a half sins if the kids have got some of these and you're feeling tempted then you can do within your sins basically a twix if you like twix if you like caramel if you like biscuit if you like chocolate then these are great i think they're quite new i mean they're not they're not super new but i don't know i could be completely oblivious but they are five and a half sins for the twix top and they're just nice, they're different, they've got that, like I said, they've got that chocolate, they've got that biscuit, they've got that caramel, so you're getting a bit of everything for five and a half cents, I think that's amazing. I picked these up in Tesco, they were on offer for a pound for ten of them, which I thought was quite good, um, so these have lasted me quite a long time, and Bear also does really like these as well. They're nice if you dip them into a cup of tea, or again, if you break them up and just have them, have it, like, not all in one, break it up in half and have it in two pieces. <laughs> And then last but not least, Espana. This reminds me of Spain, reminds me of a holiday, it reminds me of going away. BNs are delicious. They just, they're just happy smiley face. They really do remind me of holiday. Now, they are four and a half sins for a biscuit. So, if you really like Nutella, I think it's Nutella, I'm not really sure. If you really like the taste of these and they give you happy memories and, you know, your kids love them, then you can still eat them. They do come, I'm nearly out, they do come in little packs again, so really, really good for portion control and not eating them all. They are four and a half sins a biscuit, so they come with two, so just be cautious of that. It's not four and a half sins for both of them, it's four and a half sins per little biscuit. I picked mine up in Home Bargains, I believe, um, and yeah, they're just really, really good. 
So yeah, I know that this video wasn't the most entertaining, it wasn't me chatting away, doing what I normally do, but I just wanted to get all of these ideas, all of these things that I love and that have helped me through my similar journey out here on a video for you. I just hope it's helped, I hope it's maybe, like I say, giving you some new ideas on how to spend your sins and what you can have and thinking, oh, maybe I should check the value of my favourite kids sweet because it might be within sins that's basically what i wanted from this video i wanted to sort of be positive share that you can still eat the foods that you used to love before joining slim and wood in moderation checking the app constantly with regards to sizes because i know all of these products they do probably come in different sizes so just be cautious that you're eating that you're counting the right sins for the amount of grams you're having and things like that but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching thank you so much for coming back every week if you do i am really enjoying this youtube little journey that i I'm on um it's really really nice for me to sort of I've been made furlough from work so it's really tricky for me to like fight not have it like, feel as though I've got like a re like a reason to get up and get ready and be creative and keep thinking and create sort of content and create work so having this YouTube and knowing that you guys look forward to my uploads on Sunday it really does mean a lot to me it really truly does so any of these videos that I'm doing I just really want to make sure that I'm giving as much as my like knowledge, slimming with knowledge or whatever, I hate saying stuff like that, but do you know what I mean, I'm just trying to put as much out there to help people because when I started my journey I wish I had more videos to look, look through, I don't know, <laughs> I'm babbling on, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video, please take care, please stay safe and I love you all so much, bye bye!